Previously on Adrian Curry's Super Fans. We cover the whole 70 year history of superheroes and comics, toys, film, and animation here. We are one of only two museums that has an original Captain America number one. The ultimate man cave. Hey again, sorry I'm not dressed more formal. I like to feel comfortable when I'm super fanning it. To catch you up, Stan Lee sent me to the Midwest, Elkhart, Indiana, to the Hall of Heroes Museum. The joint's owned by Alan Stewart, and he loves to show it off. Hey, Adriana, this is our amazing Batcave recreation of the set of the 1960s uh, television show. That is amazing. Awesome. And oh my gosh, we've even got Batman here. Complete with a Batman. Complete with a Batman and even a Batgirl. Very <laughs> awesome. Very, very awesome. Loving it. Get about Joker. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very interactive museum, I say. It is, it is, absolutely. We've got some great characters come out here to the museum. Um, our Batman section itself is just awesome. We've got a complete collection of Batmobiles down mm -hmm. here from the uh, 1940s, the 1950s, and the 1960s up to the current Batmobiles oh, on display. That. And then this section, we kind of show Batman when he first comes in the comics in 1939, how he mm -hmm. looks. The entire middle section kind of spans the whole 70 year history of Batman just in toys. Batman growing up. Yes, exactly. We also have the original Mego Batcave playset uh, from the 1970s, which Look is really that. awesome. Yeah. The bat signal. Down here, we have the uh, Batman utility belts. And then we have all the Batman villains, the Rose Gallery. We have, of course, the, uh, the infamous Joker and Riddler and Two-Face and Poison. I'm just all the uh, different villains uh, along that row. Okay, to me, Batman is badass. And my favorite villain is the conservative Rorschach, who, like Batman, doesn't realize that he is. We have a reproduction of the Shakespeare bus ah! that would open the door of the Batcave. That's great. For the Adam West lovers, the yes. uh, Bat phone. And of course, a bust of the man himself, Adam, Adam West, West, which is bus. awesome. Our next, uh, section here, this is uh, probably going to be a personal favorite of yours, our Hollywood hero section with uh, tons of celebrity autographs. Uh, some of the other great stuff that we have here is the uh, Spider-Man movie poster. Mm -hmm. This is extremely rare because in the eyepiece it shows the Twin Towers. Most folks have never seen that because it was only out for a few short weeks. And then of course we have one of the Green Goblin pumpkin bombs, mm -hmm. which is pretty awesome. That's cool. Uh, Tony Stark Iron Man uh, hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is a $100 bill, says National Bank of Gotham. That was used huh. by Jim Carrey in the Riddler Bank robbery scene. That's actually from the movie. Right about now, my brain is getting fried. You can get too much of a good thing. Kind of like Jägermeister. You have one, you feel good. Two, you feel even better. And just when you should stop, you don't. And then you are so happy. This is our uh, special section. We rotate this every month. And this month, of course, is Avengers Month. Yes, because of the is. film, which yeah. is awesome. This special section here, we're kind of doing the whole 50 year history of the Avengers in comic books, which we have a full collection. And then some of just a, a sampling of our different statues and busts and things mm -hmm. uh, of the Avengers themselves. We do a lot of great special events here at the museum. And people get on the Holly Heroes Facebook you know, site. They can find out about all of our great events that we do. Now up here, you're uh, gonna really get blinded by all the stuff that's up here. Toys, toys, comics, and more toys. Yes, this is more characters okay. up here, where this side of the room is all DC, uh -huh. and then that side's all Marvel. First section over here, starting on our DC section, is our Super Friends Justice League section. Look at all of this. On the wall, there's 20 pieces of original animation cells from Super Friends versus Legion of Doom, the challenge of the Super Friends episodes from the 1978 series. And so the center, we got Super Friends with the Hall of Justice and the Super Friends, uh -huh. and we have the Legion of Doom right here. There is the Legion. Yes. That is a very green shelf. <laughs> yes, Green Lantern is actually my personal favorite character. And then we have the Green Lantern power batteries and rings and a lot of different rings. Our Superman section is pretty cool. We have like Superman and Friends, Superman Villains, Superboy Crypto. That one's cool. Yeah. One of the coolest things, Adrian, we have here at our museum is our massive library. Yeah, you and got you see, a lot. And we've got DC, Marvel, Gold Key, Dark Horse, Carlton, all the companies mixed together in alphabetical order. The entire library is alphabetical and numerical order. So any comic book from the last 55 years I can find in 10 seconds. And now we're gonna step into Marvel territory. Into Marvel. Yes, so hopefully Stan's watching and drooling at this time. Mm -hmm. um, since most of this is his, I kind of picked you know, my favorite book out of mm -hmm. each box and just put it right in the front so you kind of know where you're at in the library. You know, this is all the Batman section. 
What did your wife say when you said, honey, I have this dream? She was happy that it got out of the house in its, in its own building. Oh, it found so, its own yeah, space yes. away from her things. Exactly. Honestly, um, I don't have to look at this in my house. Because <laughs> when we built the museum, everything in here was in the house. I was more than happy to have it all <laughs> It wasn't until I spoke with Alan's wife and his son that I discovered just how brilliant he is. Instead of fighting about the thousands of comic books and collectibles, he talked her into building the Hall of Heroes for her. Building it could mean she could have what she wanted, a clean house, a brilliant super fan. If only I could have devised a plan like that, I could still be married. I could still, no. I like the way things turn out for me. And then we have the uh, full-size Spider-Man and Green Goblin head busts up there. Mm -hmm. those, um, are pretty cool. those are really awesome. Those are uh, Alex Ross pieces, which uh -huh. are very awesome. And we have uh, kind of a Spider-Man Green Goblin section, and we and have, have uh, Spider-Man and Web here. Yes, we have our, our Spider-Man. This guy. This was a uh, blockbuster display, and they did kind of an auction. Then we kind of come over to our X-Men section, which is pretty awesome. X-Men section. Yes. These are original animation cells from the X-Men oh, cartoon from the 90s. We have some yay. of the original art from the cartoon here as well, surrounding the video game, which is a very cool classic as well. Yeah, I used to play this all the time in the arcade. And then now we come to our Fantastic Four section, the first uh, Marvel characters, the uh, Doctor Doom head bust, uh -huh. which is pretty awesome. We have the Iron Man helmet that's actually padded and it's full metal, can be worn. That's cool. And then we have the Captain America and the Hulk full-size head bust. Sometimes we've had little kids get a little scared by, by oh, the yeah, Hulk head bust. It's a little scary, yeah. You know, Hulk is a little scary. Yeah. And we have our Hulk stuff here, uh, the Hulk board game from the 70s. Our Captain America section, we did like a little Invaders from World War II mm -hmm. subsection there. Alan is a real super fan. It was so fun going there. They're a great family, a happy family. Thanks, Alan. So this is Crab Cat Industries. So we're kind of a small group of costumers that make things and do silly things. I love that you are a fellow cosplayer, and I figured before we sat down, maybe we could suit up in some of her favorite costumes. Next time, it's back to La La Land. You don't want to miss it.